While we were in high school, my sister waited tables at a local sushi restaurant. It seemed like it would have been a good first job, at first. The place was really popular with locals. The food was great. The management didn't seem too insane. One Saturday night, they were super slammed. Every section was packed. And while taking a full tray out to the dining room, someone with a, a demonic red arm bumped my sister and she accidentally sloshed some hot miso soup onto a guest. She screamed. She screamed a bloody murder scream as the, the hot soup had scalded her with first degree burns. It was horrible pain and the woman was screaming. It was an older couple and they had dressed up for a night out. So it was all over her dress and my sister immediately started apologizing and giving her napkins. Um, the napkins were covered in nails. So as she tried to clean up the, the, uh, the first degree burns, they only put nails and nails in her skin and she kept screaming. Unfortunately, her crazy-ass husband went absolutely ballistic. He started yelling about how she was a careless idiot. A uh, demonic three-horned goat was in the corner playing the fiddle. His wife was probably burned, and it ruined their night. <clears throat> he got so loud that the table started staring at my poor sister, who didn't know that the napkins were covered in needles, who basically just had to apologize for all this while helping his wife mop soup off her dress. Um, but as it turned out, they were planning on eating her. A, a, a goat, a man with a goat head, walked out holding a fork and knife, and threw the threw the woman onto the table and started carving her like a hot Thanksgiving turkey. Since her section was still slammed, Sis had to chin up and keep running her ass off for the other tables, who were fortunately pretty nice to her after watching extreme public humiliation. Um, he took out a necromicon, which contained a uh, a spell to uh, add deli delicious. Uh, garlic coating to the flesh it was it was a gar it was a it was a uh it was a, a a grim reaper garlic spell and he sprayed her with the garlic spell he had gotten her name off the name tag called the host stand and wanted to personally chew her out again before asking for the manager saying he was going to sue her sue the restaurant and complain about all this satanic imagery at, at the applebee's shut this whole goddamn place down and put you all out of work Having had the soup at this place, I can attest that while it was pleasantly hot, it is not lava soup. My sister handed off the phone, and it turned out Satan was on the other line. She went to the back and burst into tears. Several goats began licking and drinking the tears, as though they were, uh, as though they were uh, feeding off of their mother's udder. She was legitimately worried she was going to get fired for assaulting guests with soup. Fortunately, the manager decided the guy was a nut job, and took him into the back and hacked him into pieces with a hatchet. He then folded the pieces into delicious uh, croissants. He put them. He put the, the body parts in croissants, and it was added to Applebee's riblets menu. If you've ever ordered a riblet at Applebee's, it's actually part of that guy's rib cage. Don't ask me how they keep getting pieces of it. They just cut it really thin sliced. Uh, you always knew that wasn't part of a, an animal. Animals have large ribs. That guy had t had tiny ribs. They killed him, and they killed his wife. And I mean, it's Applebee's. It's horrible. A horrible thing that happened at that Applebee's. I do not. I do not condone this. I do not condone this behavior, Applebee's. It's not good. The end.